Now here's some shocking test results for you. I'm gonna test driver grip and show you how much it matters and how much it affects your club face and then therefore the ball flight. So we're gonna test three different grips. Strong, really weak, and nice and neutral. Now, one thing that I would definitely do is stick around to the end because I have also seen a lot of comments on, I've got a strong grip and I slice it. Well, I'll offer a solution for you on that too. Now, this channel is powered by you, the viewer, and Stephen Bogart has asked for this question. What is the proper grip for driver? Now, the honest answer is you have to find your proper grip. I'm gonna show you how, so you've gotta do this test too. Let's get into the video. Let's first start with a really, really strong grip. So what I would classify as a strong grip, and you can see this in the player cam here, is seeing like maybe three to maybe three and a half knuckles on your glove hand, your crease on your left hand going right outside your right shoulder, and then your palm of your right hand sort of facing towards the sky. So when you can see it from this point of view here, you can sort of identify that as a really, really strong grip. Remember, the end will say if you're slicing it with that grip, how we can fix it. Okay, so what I tend to see, and again, remember I'm doing this test, but I want you to do this test too, is when I hit this ball flight with this grip, my club face has a bigger ability to close. So I tend to hit the ball a little bit left and sometimes, not all the time, with a bit of right to left curve. Because it's excessively strong, the chances are that you're gonna close that club face. Right, here we go, first ball away. Let's hit this one. So what's happening when you've got a stronger grip is that this club face is getting into impact a little bit more closed. Because it can rotate more, the club is more likely to work in this direction through the shot, giving it more chance of being a little bit closed relative to the club path, which curves the ball right to left. So that's the cause. Next up, let's try and show you a neutral grip. Now, this is one of the reasons why I would say this is shocking. Not always you have to have a neutral grip to the straight shot. That is my point of this video. So a neutral grip and what I would class as that coaching is, as you can see on the screen here, two knuckles on your glove hand and crease into your right shoulder. And that's what I would show you from the player cam, okay? That grip right here. And you might be surprised, but for some people that might cause you to miss it a little bit to the right. I would definitely put myself in that category. I like to feel a bit of a stronger grip. So the idea of a neutral grip relative to you gives you the best chance of having a nice square club face or having it as closely matching your club path as possible to help you hit a straightaway shot. Not the best situation for me, but here we go. Neutral grip coming up for this shot. Now again, that's what I'd show as a neutral grip on the screen. Let's hit this one away. Well, I have to say that was a nice surprise. That actually went straight. Sometimes when I get a neutral grip, I lose it a little bit to the right. So I always go just only a, a hair stronger than neutral and have a look at the screen there. So. Hopefully, you've now completed those two balls or are going to do that. Now, this is the grip that I would definitely avoid like the plague. So, what is a weak grip? Two things. One of them could be in the palm, and you can see this on a nice close-up here. The second one would be showing no knuckles on your glove hand, or maybe just one knuckle, and having both thumbs sort of sitting directly on top of the shaft. Now, the opposite to what we said about the strong club face is that it's now harder to rotate this club face in and then therefore more likely to be a little bit open relative to your path and for a right hander that causes that ball to move left to right. Big, big bug bear. It also causes maybe a lot of golfers to release it a little bit scoopy as an effort to release the club and get the ball in the air. So honestly, put yourself in that scenario. Try the first two. Now bring yourself to this one, and, and, and if you're the opposite, if you're someone who already has the golf club in a weak position, go from weak to neutral to strong, and find that middle ground for you. Okay, let's hit this one away, and if you're a slicer with a really strong grip, I've got the fix for you, so stick around. Here we go, weak grip coming up. We know what's gonna happen here.
There we go. <laughs> that was the same swing, but slicey. Let's cast your mind back to the start. I said about this strong grip causes a slice. So you can see a strong grip on the screen right now. Now, if you're causing that ball to slice with a strong grip, we're sort of maybe holding it off and chicken winging through impact, almost trying to stop it going left. So first things first, I want you to keep the grip where it is and I want you to get used to releasing it and getting that right hand to cross the left. I then want you to go, once you start fixing that right and hitting it duck hook left, go through that same process. Go strong grip, go a little bit more neutral, go to weak and back to the start. There's your fix. Thanks for watching.